Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new tutorial on the channel. Um, this is for a, a simplified version of uh, Snow Crash's Donut. Um, now, Snow Crash's Donut is an amazing, amazing farm. It gives you gold, it gives you XP and it's 100% AFKable, which is stunning. Um, however, for people like me who are not very good at redstone, um, it's a nightmare. Uh, it relies on quite a few redstone timings, um, some quite large timing circuits, etc, etc. Um, and sometimes they, they don't always work um, like as they should, especially not in an SMP environment or something like that. Um, so what I've been wanting to do and what I've been working on for the past Lord knows how long is a, a simple version with little to no redstone, um, but still with the AFK ability and um, the XP and the gold, etc. Um, that's what I wanted to achieve, and I went through a lot of different incarnations of this. Um, I tried crushers, I tried um, taking the pigment up through streams of lava um, and then dropping them, stuff like that, um, but nothing worked. Nothing kept the aggro um, because they weren't being killed quick enough or they couldn't see me or something, you know, lots of different things happened. Um, and I was chatting with Danoobs, um, who is a guy that I play with on the Late Lao Guys server, for those of you who don't know that. Um, a link will be um, in the description to his channel. Um, go and check him out. Awesome guy. He also has awesome tutorials on his channel. Um, much better than my ones, because he actually uses redstone. <laughs> but yeah, um, me and him were talking, and he mentioned about this mechanic here with the with the cactus. Now, I knew that cactus killed things, um, but I also thought that cactus um, destroyed any drops that landed on top of them. However, as you can hopefully see, it doesn't. Because what we've got is we've forced a uh, hopper minecart into the sand underneath there. Um, so that will pick up the drops. Um, we've also got a hopper in front which picks up drops and stuff like that. Um, I, I haven't seen any drops going anywhere other than in those chests and in those hoppers. Um, so it would, it would appear to be pretty lossless. Um, which is nice. Um, really nice. Uh, obviously you can see that the XP is being gathered up by our player here there we go um just looking over at my other screen he's on 28 levels now i started this farm up but literally just before i started recording so however long the video has been going for that's how long it's taken to get to there 29 levels a little bit longer and he's at 30 nearly at 30 now and he's at 30. There we go. So not long at all to get to 30 levels. And obviously you can AFK out this thing overnight and everything will be fine. I've tested it for, um, I think, 12 hours. I, I lost aggro once. I think that is, um, that is just something that happens with these farms occasionally. Um, I've used like the original donut that lost aggro occasionally i've used the new and improved donut that lost aggro occasionally um i think it is just something that you have to be aware of with these farms um now doing research into this farm and how i would make it work uh, i found that pigman had an aggro timer an anger timer of between 20 to 40 seconds um now for every single pigman to have a 20 second anger timer on them um, and for all of them to lose anger before new pigmen spawned in chances are slim but be aware that it might happen it might happen um, yeah other fun features about this thing is that you know the babies can't get through you can see them all running through there they die exactly the same because of the way that the um trap doors are set up uh which also brings us the xp the xp is done by player gravity so there's absolutely no redstone to this whatsoever which is very very exciting um but yeah that, that, that's pretty much the, the gist of this. As I say, it is based on Snow Crash's original donut, so all credit to him um, for like the spawning platforms and stuff like that. Obviously, you can do whatever you want with this. You can bring this down to a sorting system, get rid of the rotten flesh, get rid of the swords, smelt the swords up, do what you want. 
this is also technically a cactus farm as well which is maybe not something that you care about um but yeah loads of loot going through here please ignore that down there that is um an old timer for a crusher um which did not work but yeah um i think that is everything i want to say about this so let's get on with the tutorial shall we catch you guys in a second Okay, everybody, so the first thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself on top of the nether. Um, that means breaking through the bedrock at the ceiling to come up underneath. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to do that in this tutorial. There are loads of other tutorials out there explaining how to do that. Um, but yeah, that is the first thing to do. You can build this farm underneath the ceiling, but you would have to slab the perimeter and do all of that garbage, and that's no fun for anybody. Um couple of things to mention just quickly is that I am building this in a modded world um, it just makes building this thing a lot lot quicker for me doing the tutorial but this is easily achievable in survival um, I have no doubt that you are all very very capable um, but yeah if you see um, things like whaler pop up and stuff like that that is why um, but yeah anyway first thing that you want to do is um, after you've broken through the roof of the nether you need to come up to build limit as you can see here I cannot place any more blocks. Then what you want to do is you want to get a lower half slab. Um, it doesn't have to be a lower half slab, it just has to be a non-spawnable block. Um, so glass is another good substitute, something like that. But I find lower, lower half slabs very, very easy. I'm building this out of quartz because I am showing off. That is purely it. Um, but yeah, what you then want to do is you want to come out from each of these sides by 31 blocks. 31. So ignore the one in the middle and then do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, and you want to do that on all four sides. So I'm going to do that quickly and I will bring you back in. Okay, so that's all done. And then once that is set up, what you need to do is you need to start building a circle with a diameter of 63. Um, there will be a link in the description to a page called Donut Studios. That is a circle generator. Um, it's a marvelous, marvelous program. It gives you a block by block step um, to do this. But yeah, I am going to just crack on and get this circle filled in for you and then I will bring you back in um, once that is done. So catch you guys in a second. And then when that's all done, just remove this top block here, replace it with a non-spawnable block and start the fun, fun job of filling this in. Um, this is going to take you a little while. Um, luckily for me, I am in a modded world and playing creatively. So I'm going to blast through this and then I will catch back up with you. Okay, everyone. So as you can see, I have filled in the roof up there. I've also put on this glass wall going around the outside. That is not a necessity whatsoever. It's just something that I like to do. I think it looks pretty. Um, but yeah. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down two blocks um, from the top of your pillar here and come out by 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. And once again, do the same on every side just because it makes it easier for you. Right, and then when that's done, you're going to want to make a 31 block wide circle stretching around these points. Once again, link will be in the description to a circle generator for you. Um, I'm going to fill this in and then I will catch back up with you. Okay, now that that's done, you should have something looking like this. Um, now, the reason that we put the roof on first is because we are now getting spawns up here. Um, if you leave the roof open, then there's a really good chance you're going to get gas spawns, and they are not going to be 
fun. Um, it's also the reason that I work uh, top to bottom as opposed to bottom to top um, because there's going to be another two floors underneath this and if you start at the bottom layer once again gas could possibly spawn. Um, now this is a point where this glass uh, wall does actually come in handy because now you're going to have to start filling all of this in um, and if you have um, that wall there then you've just got a marker to work towards um, it means that you don't have to keep going back onto the circle generator and kind of finding out where you're going wrong um, so yeah uh, that's the next step filling this in this is going to be one of the spawning platforms please ignore the blaze over there as mentioned previously I am in a modded world um, it's got some weird weird mob tables and stuff like that um, but yeah I'm going to crack on filling this in I'm also going to get the next two platforms done um, and at that point I will bring you back in catch you guys in a second Okay, everybody, so once all of your platforms are in, making sure that there is a two block high gap between each one to allow spawning. Um, three platforms, that's all you need. Um, this will most likely take you quite a while. Um, what you then have to decide is what you want the front to be and what you want the back to be. It does not matter which one of these you choose. They are all the same. But what you are going to need to do is you're going to need to come along and punch out this central section. Uh, now, the reason for this is purely because um, when the mobs are tracking you, they will group up um, at the end here and is this correct yes it is and what i do is i leave a three block gap at the end just so that they can still travel around um, but that prevents them from grouping up along this edge here because they're obviously tracking you when you're over here they find that that they just get stuck there um, so taking these out prevents that um, so i'm going to crack on do that and i will come back to you in a second Okay, so once that's done, you can come around to your front here and on the central pillar here, you want to fill in this, two, three, four, five. Let me just take another night vision. Lovely. And then on that five again, you want to go like that. Um, from there, one, two, three, four. One, oh, one two, three, four one two three four until you have this shape here um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a slab up on there like that and glass down the middle here you're going to want glass uh, not there sorry yes there glass up there I mean all the way up to the top here same on this side like so um, and then you can fill in down here and down uh, to there um, and you want to fill this all the way up to the top like this these are going to be the funnels that channel the pigmen um, to their glorious glorious deaths like so um, you can also do one there I'm not sure if it's strictly necessary um, but we'll see, won't we? <laughs> so let's continue filling these in nice and quick. Um, and then we will work out the killing mechanism, um, the most important part of the farm, like that. Good. Um, OK, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have the cactus on this level here, which means we need to go down and down. And so cactus on this level, sand on this level, hopper on this level. So let's go down by one more and bring it out like that same on that side there and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a centralized hopper pointing down and a hopper facing into it from each side um, now we can take those blocks away um, it's sensible now to put some blocks going around them this way and cover up that hopper there so you're left with a shape like that. What you then want to do is put a rail on top of each hopper like that. Put a minecart with a hopper on top of that. And then come down here and you just need to break the rail. 
like so and like so. Um, you also then want a hopper pointing into the back hopper and a hopper up there. Same again uh, here, like so. Um, we can fill that block in there and that block in there. Then what you want to do is place a temporary block on each side like that and drop your sand on top of that. That is nice. Cactus, cactus. And then what you can do is fill in these diagonals here, uh, there and there as well. There and there. Um, you cannot place anything in these gaps here, otherwise the cactus will break off. Um, so what we can then do is bring these a little bit further forward like that, making sure not to fill in the sides because as I said before, the cactus will break. Um, it's less important to fill these parts up to the top because nothing is going to get there. Um, then what we need are some trap doors. Um, Iron, well, iron ones work as do um, the wooden ones here. Either are absolutely fine. I just quite like the look of the iron ones. And what you're going to want to do is the block above the cactus to the front, one on the top of that, and then one on the bottom of the next block above. I also put one up there. So on the bottom of the block above that, um, and that should prevent anything coming through and attacking you whilst you are AFK. Um, the, the babies cannot get through the bottom, the adults cannot get through the top, nothing gets pushed through, it's all fine and dandy. Um, then what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to start building your AFK platform here. Um, so I go for slabs like that, it helps with the um, XP getting to the player and just two out here this is where you will be standing on this block here I try and go a little bit forward of the center line um, that means that everything can still see you um, but basically that is that is the basis of the farm done um, now the pigmen when they track you they'll be able to see you through these gaps here so they will keep their aggro um, you do need to get rid of that to the top because it might interfere with um, with the with the aggro of the pigmen, um, I would also suggest covering up any spawnable spaces with some carpet. Um, so here, for example, where we're standing, we can use it there. Um, these are all half slabs, so that doesn't matter. That should be absolutely everything. Um, so let's just quickly. Oh no, before we chuck ourselves into game mode, um, game mode one, let's get ourselves a bow and some arrows, Boop, like that, empty all of our inventory out and keep our fingers crossed. So game mode zero, we're now in survival, let's hit a pigman. And here we go. As you can see, there's no pigment getting stuck over there. There's no pigment getting stuck on here. If you move this any further back, they would group up there and there as well. But just forward here keeps their interest. Everybody's dying. Here comes the XP. Not bad going. And as more zombie pigmen spawn in, they keep their aggro and they come running towards you. This guy will obviously try and track us over here, but then realize that he's he can come over here and we'll jump down. There is one thing, one thing that I have forgotten to mention and actually do in this farm, and I'm very, very pleased that I picked up on it before I left you all. Um, as you can see, we've got some guys grouping up down there. Um, that is no good. What you want to do, let's just quickly hop into peaceful mode so that I can get these guys out of the way. Um, you want to come back one block from here, um, one block to the side so that you are in line with this funnel. Punch out three, punch out three, go back by a grand total of four, I believe. So that's four there, nicey nice. Um, get yourself some stair blocks like so and build up two stairways running down here 
that means that pigmen can now get up and down easily um, they can come to the death chambers and everything will be fine lovely um, so I'm gonna do this quickly I'm gonna quickly think if there is anything else um, that I might have missed but I don't think I have what I also do here is I actually fill uh, this area here in so that they're not tempted um, to try and get to me that way that tends to work quite well block that off and can I get him around there yep and I've run out of night vision that all looks fine one more there right I'm going to retake my night vision I'm going to put it back into hard mode um, that is another thing that you do need to consider with this you have to have your server if you're playing on a server or your SMP um, sorry uh, or your single player um, on hard mode otherwise the pigmen won't spawn quickly enough or be aggro long enough for you to take advantage of the farm um, right so one last test at the end and then that will be the end of the tutorial Okay, everybody, one last little test of the farm to make sure that everything is working. I'm back now in hard mode. Let's hit a pigman, make him angry, and we'll see what happens. Uh, the reason that I don't put stairs coming down from the top there is, as you can see, the guys are quite happy just to kind of fling themselves off onto the path below. Um, make sure I am standing in the right place, just forward of the center of this block, like so, and then everything should be fine. Um... I know you can't see it right now, but the guys will be using the stairs to come up from the bottom. Um, everything is fine there. The XP is rolling in. Um, I put some temporary chests underneath here to catch all of our lovely, lovely loot. Um, everything is growing great, guns. Lovely. Um, yeah, that is the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Love to hear from you. Um, I will have another gold farm tutorial out fairly soon, actually. It's one that's been requested quite a lot. Um, so if you don't want to miss that or any of the other series on the channel, hit that subscribe button. And remember to tell your mother about all of the pigman death we've got going on here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.